I regularly have this thought, and I had it last night, that th there is something wrong about living in a pop-up camper. And regularly, I'm trying to convince myself that living in a pop-up camper is wrong. If you like this video, click like. If you want to continue to follow our adventure, hit subscribe. Your support would be greatly appreciated. Hello, in the house on the road, subscribers and followers. <clears throat> Last night, I was getting a bucket of water. It's cold. It's probably, I don't know, 27, 26 degrees. And I regularly have this thought, and I had it last night, that, that there is something wrong about living in a pop-up camper. And regularly, I'm trying to convince myself that living in a pop-up camper is wrong. It's, it's not a conscious thought. It just happens, you know, like last night. I had to go out and get a bucket of water. This is wrong. You know, we, this is just crazy wrong. But it doesn't take very long to recognize, wait a minute, why is this wrong? because I'm having to go get a bucket of water? Well, if you connect it to the way you lived your life in a stick and brick, I'm not saying I had to go get a bucket of water when I lived in a stick and a brick, but there were times I had to go out in the cold at night to go do something all the time. I'm sure you have to go out in the cold at night. So what is the difference between having to go get a bucket of water when it's cold and nighttime when you're living in a pop-up camper or doing it when you're living in your stick and brick. And so you have to, I have to tell myself this all the time. There's nothing wrong. I'm quite comfortable in a pop-up camper. Another time I got chilly inside the camper, you know, it, it was really cold and you don't want to have to turn on the propane just because you're a little chilly. And so you think, you think, well, I'll just put on a, a longer sleeve shirt and that way I don't have to turn on the propane. I can just run a little space heater and everything will be fine. And then when we have to go to bed, I'll have the covers and everything will be fine. And I, when I do that, I keep thinking, man, this is nuts. This is nuts. We're living in a pop-up camper in winter and I'm chilly. This is, this is wrong. Until you think, when, when you lived in a stick and brick, Rob, you would always get in trouble for turning up the thermostat. I always got in trouble for turning up the thermostat. You know, I'll put on a sweater. Don't run up the gas bill. So uh, there's no difference. Absolutely no difference. I got chili in the house and I got chili in the pop-up. But when it happens in the pop-up, your brain immediately says, no, this is wrong. You're, 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 you're really not doing this right. Okay, so that leaves a couple other things. How about like the bathroom? We don't have a bathroom, so we either have to go in the shower tent or we have to... Uh, use the privy or the bathroom that's at the national forest so i guess that is the, the furthest thing from a stick and brick that we have is that we have to go outside in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom and the other night i was outside happened to go to the bathroom i went in the shower tent and i thought boy this is nuts this is absolutely nuts what are we doing here i am going to the bathroom in the middle of the night in a shower tent. You know, if I had a house, I'd just go in the bathroom. And then I looked up. I looked up. And it was a clear night. Bright, bright moon. Full moon. Stars. The whole deal. I mean, it was just beautiful. And I thought to myself, how many people on a stick of brick are getting to watch this right now? You're not. Because when you went to the bathroom, you went into your bathroom inside your house. And you didn't get to experience that. And I even said to myself, boy. I wish I could take a video of this so I could show you what this is like. So please imagine that you get up in the middle of the night, you go outside, and full moon, and what are you doing? You're going to the bathroom. And think about that. I got to experience something that a lot of people in modern age don't get to experience. Think about when people had to use the outhouse. You know, how long ago was that? 50, 60, 70 years ago they were using the outhouse? imagine that they got to use the outhouse on a full moon night oh huh, that's me that's what i get to do it was amazing it is amazing and finally the shower 
this one hits me every now and then. We're having to take a shower in the shower tent. And it's really been recently. The shower tent has not been a big deal. I really don't struggle with the shower tent. Uh, Carolyn is uncomfortable in it sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes. Uh, but that, I think, wraps around her social anxiety. If there's people around, I really think that she gets uncomfortable. But for me, it hasn't been uncomfortable. Until it got cold. And I'm constantly thinking, wow, what are we doing? I'm taking a shower and it's 32 degrees outside in a shower tent. What am I doing? But when you think about it, I, Carolyn and I have figured out, and I've documented them all in these little videos about us doing this in the winter. And I'll put a link to one of these right here. But we have figured out how to take a shower in the shower tent and stay very warm. We're not uncomfortable at all. It's, it's amazing how well it is working. So, uh, look, if you come out here, and I don't know if this happens in a travel trailer. I suspect it does. I suspect people think, in a travel trailer, what am I doing? Because I see so many people on, on, on Facebook telling me that their fears are this about full-time travel. So, if you decide to full-time travel, be aware that these, these impulsive thoughts, I mean, they're, they hit hard. I mean, really hard. They hit hard. Like, what are you doing? Recognize that when you're having this thought that it's not any different really than a stick and brick The situation or the chore might be a little different, but overall it's all the same And not only that you get to see some amazing things so. Thanks for watching Be sure to subscribe Click like if you like the video and happy travels